Dr. Friels again here. We are actually removing a nail spicule. Um, this lady had a fungal toenail and we removed the whole toenail and we did four laser treatments. Um, I'll show you in just a second. It's nice and clean and healthy. However, one piece of the nail is actually starting to ingrow on the side here. So what I'm gonna do is remove that and then put some chemical on it so it doesn't come back. There is about a 5% chance it can return, but it's so small, I think that she's gonna be just fine. So don't forget, subscribe to our channel. Are you ready up there? Okay, here we go. A little cold spray, then a little bee sting. This isn't your first time going through this, so but it will be much easier because again, it's just a small piece. And I know no, you- I've never had the ingrown toenail thing. I've never had this. Yeah. Well, I'm, when we removed your nail last time. So I can see a little bit of bleeding, some dried blood in the corner, because you said you started picking at it about a week ago? Uh, it, probably a couple weeks ago. Well, we talked about that the reason that she couldn't get it, um, even if you get tweezers in there, is the root of the nail is all the way back here. So you gotta go digging. Plus where it's connected to the, um, the good healthy nail, likely you would damage that area as well and then introduce fungus or maybe infection, something like that. Okay, all right, good, all done. So what we're gonna do now is um, have my medical assistant come in, prep the toe, get everything set up, and then we're gonna go digging for that little guy right there. Okay, see you guys in just a second. All right, everybody, we are back. It's time to get this little spicule, almost feels like a little horn whenever it grows out it looks like a horn coming out of your toenail mm -hmm. it's kind of crazy um, did you clip that last week the little edge that was coming out I tried to I think with cuticle scissors mm -hmm. and I got just a little bit of it but then yeah. like I said it started bleeding so I just quit and yeah, you were getting in there yeah okay. I didn't want to do that much okay, I, I didn't want to be the doctor or the nurse <laughs> all right let's put this one off to the side just kind of get that out of my way a little bit so again I'm going to test it first you let me know if you feel anything for sure you should feel just pressure. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of like digging for, feel gold. anything? Yes, <laughs> digging for gold. I wish, wish was. You know, I wish this was gold for as many as I've, I've removed. So um, sometimes after having a permanent nail removal, you can have just a little bit of the nail that doesn't take to the chemical. I can feel it right mm. there. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing fine. I'm just agreeing with you. <clears throat> I don't know if you were agreeing or moaning. I want to make sure you're not moaning. Just trying to understand. <laughs> <laughs> so the chemical, for whatever reason, if we do an ingrown toenail, it doesn't take in that one edge. So you'll get this little piece growing back and it annoys. Some people it's not painful. Others it's just concern for um, it, the, the sock catching it or something. All wow. right, here we go. So this is what you have been wow. digging for. Isn't that crazy? So it's all of that large, it is. And a lot of times we can't really feel it, but once we get in or see it, um, but once we get in there, we're like, I can't believe that was in there. That's what I was saying. I, I know I've lost, you know, as you get older, you lose some of your vision. And I thought I can't see enough to know what I'm really working with. Uh, just making sure this is all skin. Just get that out of our way. I don't want anything like that hanging in there. It'll cause a problem. Yeah, definitely the more birthdays we celebrate, our vision gets worse. I have a lot of people, you know, that try to trim their nails and um, they'll get their toe and unfortunately it can lead to an infection and then gangrene, amputation. Don't say that. I know, it just happens, but we're educating our people. Well, I, and, I, and I'm very cautious about the infection thing because Dr. Parr, when he did my first mm -hmm. knee replacement, that was a big, no infections. And as I yeah. told my, my general doctor, I said, I don't know if I need to be in here, but I think I got a sinus infection. I'm not supposed to get any infections. Good, no, I mean, you know, it's better to be, you know, cautious. Safe than, than sorry. Absolutely. I had a patient that came in last week that had a really, you know, bad ingrown toenail. It wasn't infected, um, but he had had a hip replacement a month prior to. Mm. And so we went ahead and gave him a prophylactic uh, antibiotic for the week so to prevent any type of infection coming in there. All right, you are done. Just clean everything up and then we'll get it. There you go. Should heal up in no time. Real good. Do you have any questions about how to take care of this when you get home? 
No. Okay. There you go. Wonderful. Well, I don't think so. okay. we'll finish it. All right, another uh, ingrown toenail out. Please don't forget, if you like the videos, to comment below or ring the bell, sign up for our channel, and uh, we're doing tons more of these. We do them all day long, so enjoy. I'll see you guys soon.